Sir Isaac Newton came up with three laws back in the 1600s that basically explain how stuff moves, or doesn't, in our everyday world. Today, let's focus on the second one, which is all about what happens when you push, pull, or apply force to something. In simple terms, Newton's second law says that the acceleration, how quickly something speeds up, slows down, or changes direction of an object, depends on two things, the net force acting on it and its mass. The more force you apply, the more it accelerates. But the heavier, more massive the object, the less it accelerates for the same force. Net force means the overall push or pull after adding up all forces involved. Mass is how much stuff is in the object. Acceleration is the change in speed over time. What this really means is, force equals mass times acceleration. So, big force on a small mass, lots of acceleration. Small force on a big mass, not much acceleration. Okay, now let's make this real. Imagine you're on a field with a soccer ball, light, low mass, and a bowling ball, heavy, high mass. You kick both with the same amount of force, of course, with a solid boot on your foot. The soccer ball flies across the field, accelerating quickly because its mass is small. But the bowling ball? It barely rolls a few feet. Same force, but higher mass means way less acceleration. This is why soccer players don't use bowling balls. Newton's law in action. Think about grocery shopping. When your cart is empty, low mass, a gentle push makes it zoom forward easily, high acceleration. But loaded up with heavy stuff like milk jugs and canned goods, increasing mass. And now you have to push way harder just to get the same acceleration. If you don't add more force, it barely moves. You may have to lean into a full cart to get it going. When you jump on a trampoline, gravity pulls you down with a constant force. Your weight, which is mass times gravity, but if you're lighter, you bounce higher and accelerate upward faster when the trampoline pushes back. A heavier person might not bounce as high with the same jump because their mass reduces the acceleration from that upward force. Newton's second law is everywhere. From rockets blasting off, huge force to overcome Earth's gravity on a massive rocket, to why it's harder to stop a speeding train than a bike. It helps engineers design everything from elevators to video game physics.